Genetically modified cockroaches are sent to Mars to cultivate moss on the planet's surface and make it habitable for humans. When humans arrive to exterminate them, they realize that the bugs have evolved into dangerous creatures. In the 21st century, Earth has become overpopulated and the atmosphere is failing. As a backup plan, the Japanese government launches a project to explore Mars and make it habitable for humans. Scientists seed the planet with moss, which absorbs sunlight and balances the surface temperature. To make this possible, they release cockroaches that are genetically engineered to survive in Mars' harsh environment, allowing them to spread the moss as they feed. This revolutionary act has then been known as the Terraforming Project. In the year 2597, Shokichi Komachi and Nanao Akita dash through the bustling streets of Tokyo while running away from the police. However, they soon find themselves cornered. Just then, a flying car hovers above them, and inside is Professor Ko Honda. He watches his own presentation regarding the terraforming project, where he explains that the cockroach colony on Mars, which has been used to spread the moss on the planet, needs to be exterminated. His assistant, Sakakibara, tells him that the two individuals below match those they're looking for. She convinces him to take them in as they can be useful. With this, Honda leaves the car to approach Shokichi and Nanao. Two years later, Shokichi and Nanao are sent to Mars to clear out the cockroach colony in preparation for human colonization. Jin Muto, an ex-kickboxer, challenges Shokichi to a little duel to pass the time, but he loses. He then goes to Nanao and casually suggests ditching their mission. However, she replies that Honda gave her freedom, so she must complete the task. Ichiro, a computer hacker, scoffs at Nanao's concept of freedom since being held captive and disposed to Mars to clear off rubbish is far from liberating. Meanwhile, Maria Renjo, an illegal immigrant, suddenly wakes up when Shunji Tezuka, an ex-serial killer, puts her hand into his mouth. Pissed, she walks off and reports the incident to Sore Osako. As the two leave, the ex Yakuza members, Yoshikane and Toramaru, stare at the women's bums. Asuka Moriki, an ex-cop, calls them out for their lewd behavior. Suddenly, Captain Keisuke Dojima and Lieutenant Mina Obari enter the room, ordering the crew to prepare as they're about to land on Mars. As soon as they see the planet, they find that the terraforming was successful. Mars is now filled with green moss and looks a lot like Earth. Thinking of how cockroaches made this possible, he recalls when Honda introduced the dreaded mission to him and Nanao. Back then, Honda offered them money and freedom if they accepted the mission. Shokichi initially refused, suspecting a hidden agenda. However, since they were charged with murder, Nanao agreed, ultimately leading Shokichi to follow. At present, Dojima releases the Mars Red Pro missiles, which are supposed to eradicate the cockroaches. After this, everyone gets assigned to a certain location to ensure that the eradication has been successful. As the crew spread out, Dojima calls Honda to report that they have located Bugs 1, a secret project exploration aircraft launched 10 years ago. He adds that they are about to start initial contact, which excites Honda as he can't wait for Japan to announce its technological sophistication to other countries. Elsewhere, Shokichi freaks out when he sees a small cockroach. However, when Nanao checks it, it turns out to be a mound of moss. She teases him for being afraid of cockroaches, and he complains that she accepted the mission despite knowing this about him. Nanao explains that she did so because she didn't want him to die. Meanwhile, Jin and Maria are confused as they can't find any cockroach carcasses anywhere. As they continue, they spot three cockroach humanoids holding clubs. Jin then grabs Maria to keep them from being seen. Shokichi and Nanao also encounter one of the creatures. Unsure of what to do, Shokichi waves hello to it, but it suddenly dashes toward Nanao and breaks her neck without hesitation. The creature spares Shokichi and leaves at blinding speed. Just then, Jin and Maria regroup with him, announcing that Asuka is also dead. Later on, they bring Nanao's body back to the ship. The crew comes to terms with the fact that the creatures they encountered are the cockroaches that they're supposed to exterminate. It turns out that Dojima knew about it all along, but he expounds that they never thought the cockroaches, now known as terraformers, could ever survive on Mars. However, they breed immeasurably in the light of cosmic radiation, causing the insect's evolution to explode. With the crew angry, Honda appears through a hologram call to explain the situation. He reassures the crew that they have nothing to worry about since they will be injected with specially formulated insect DNA that's individually designed for them. This will mutate their DNA and grant them power to fight the terraformers. After Honda ends his call, the captain sends each member the data regarding their abilities. He explains that they'll return to their normal selves once the injection's effect wears off. However, excessive usage of their abilities might cost them their lives. Afraid of the dangerous mission, some crew members still want to go home. On the other hand, God Lee, a terrorist from the Middle East, suggests that they should finish the mission and wreak havoc on the government once they get home. Meanwhile, a lone terraformer lurks outside their ship, and Lee volunteers to explain 
exterminated. He then injects himself with the DNA, and a mutation immediately occurs. The insect used for Lee's DNA is a ground beetle, capable of shooting out flames by combining chemicals in its body. Once his transformation finishes, Lee attacks the creature with a series of kicks. He then finishes it off by shooting flame from his palm. Despite his flawless attack, the creature doesn't die. To his surprise, the terraformar kills him through a single jab in his abdomen. The crew is stunned at Lee's death, but they quickly react when they see the creature on the glass window. It continuously bangs its head on the glass until it breaks in, slicing two of the crew members' heads off. Dojima steps in to fight the creature off as he injects himself with the DNA. The mutation occurs, which is based on the bullet ant. The insect can lift a hundred times its own weight, which allows Dojima to kill the terraformar with his super strength. Before the crew could celebrate, the radar detects a swarm of terraformars surrounding the ship. Osako wonders why the terraformars want to kill them, and Maria responds that they don't need a reason, much like how humans kill harmless cockroaches. With that, Obari tries to take off, but the ship is suddenly defective. Because of this, Dojima volunteers to be the decoy while the others head to Bugs 1 and retrieve the parts needed to fix their ship, and Ichiro volunteers to aid the captain. Before heading out, Shokichi takes one last look at Nanao, and he notices a string of silk coming out of her mouth. Meanwhile, Ichiro injects himself with his serum but gets scared by the creatures that arrive, so he runs. In the rover, the group hesitates to wait for Shokichi. Tezuka finds no time to waste, so he injects himself with the DNA, which is based on a bug called the Maclie. This shoots out a strong gas when threatened, and Tezuka utilizes this to blast the rover away from the terraformers. Thankfully, Shokichi manages to jump to the rover just before they leave. Meanwhile, Bugs 2 is being invaded by too many terraformers. Because of this, Ichiro seals the ship and vacuums out all the oxygen. The creatures lose consciousness, but so does he and Dojima. At the rover, Jin tells Shokichi that he knows he took the blame for Nanao's crime. Back then, Nanao killed a lone shark in Tokyo who mistreated her. To protect her, Shokichi stabbed the man and claimed that he was the killer. Suddenly, the crew encounters a tsunami of terraformers. Obari charges through it, and Tezuka holds onto the rover until they pass it. With sheer luck, the rover passes through, but another wave appears. Knowing that Tezuka won't last long, Osako and Maria volunteer to help. Osako injects herself with a black beetle's DNA, an insect with impenetrable armor. Meanwhile, Maria injects the rainbow beetle's DNA, giving her optical camouflage abilities. Together, they defend Tezuka as he blasts the rover off. The rover passes through but lands roughly and flips. Everyone inside passes out while Tezuka, Osako, and Maria are thrown off the vehicle. As the rover dashes off in autopilot mode, the trio are mercilessly smashed by the terraformers. The remaining members wake up to see that they're already at Bugs 1. Shokichi calls out for the trio, but the Yakuza believe they're the only survivors. The Yakuza then volunteer to keep guard while the others enter the ship, unaware that a drone is observing them. When Obari runs a diagnostics test on Bugs 1, they discover that the ship has been sending data back to Earth. Before they can investigate, they hear a commotion outside. To their surprise, Yoshikane and Toramaru have been shot by the terraformars, who know how to wield firearms. Elsewhere, a terraformar with human intelligence calls Honda through a phone, reporting the situation. The professor, who seems to be on the terraformar side, then warns the creature against fighting Shokichi if he uses his power. Meanwhile, Shokichi uses the DNA to transform into a deadly Asian giant hornet and easily defeats several terraformars using his poisonous sting. Jin transforms into a desert locust, which gives him powerful kicking and jumping abilities. Lastly, Obari transforms into an orchid praying mantis, a predatory insect. After the fight, they discover pyramids behind Bugs 1. In Bugs 2, Dojima is about to die when the intelligent terraformer attempts to shoot him. However, Asuka suddenly slices the creature from the inside. It turns out she is alive and has transformed into the emerald cockroach wasp. This insect allows her to release a poison that manipulates a terraformer's mind, making it her live doll. On her first encounter with the creatures, she actually controlled them into killing each other. Just then, she summons Ichiro, telling him to bring her the eggs. Hearing this, Dojima realizes that she has hidden motives with Honda, but before he can react, Asuka shoots him to death. After this, she pours water on Ichiro, which wakes him up. His insect is the sleeping Kironomid, which can survive in any condition and be revived when replenished with water. Together, Asuka and Ichiro work on a secret mission for Honda as the insect manipulator and the undead insect. They are tasked to retrieve the second generation of terraformar eggs back to Earth. Meanwhile, Obari, Shokichi, and Jin hear bugs to activate. Suddenly, the drone appears, and through it, Honda reveals that Ichiro set their ship's system down earlier as he instructed and that Asuka works for him too. He adds that exterminating the terraformars was never the primary goal. He actually plans on bringing more genetic materials from the terraformars so they can make better hybrid soldiers for the Japanese government, which will 
render them invincible. The crew was mainly sent to Mars to become test subjects, and their combat encounters are also recorded as valuable data. Meanwhile, Ichiro basks in their mission's success as he recalls his promise to his mother to take his family out of poverty. Back then, he studied hard to one day provide for his mother and siblings. But his dreams were ruined when his professor framed him for impregnating a student when he was the one responsible for it. When Ichiro asks Asuka about her motives, she replies that she just wants power. Knowing that Earth would be destroyed anyway, she wanted to be injected with insect DNA to get whatever she wanted. Just then, the two hear something crack behind them as the egg has hatched prematurely. Two terraformars emerge from it, so Asuka quickly injects herself with the DNA and stings the creatures. However, the terraformars have immunity over her powers, so they easily kill her as the ship takes off. Suddenly, the terraformars summon their kind through a deafening scream. With this, the terraformars on the ground open up their wings and cling to bugs too, which causes the ship to fall back on Mars. During its descent, Ichiro gets cornered by the evolved bugs, but he injects himself before one kicks him, knocking him out. The ship crashes near Bugs 1, where the terraformars soon surround Shokichi and the others. With no choice but to kill or be killed, the team injects themselves with the DNA. The evolved terraformars order the others to attack, so Shokichi, Obari, and Jin fight them off and manage to kill many of the creatures. However, they are easily overpowered by the two evolved terraformars, who have the skills of actual human fighters. Obari tries killing one of them, but it easily rips off her arm and slices her head with it. Enraged, Jin injects himself with another dose, progressing the mutation and strengthening his powers. Shokichi also injects himself with another dose, and together, the two battle the terraformars with their enhanced abilities. Throughout the fight, Jin lunges into the air and injects his third dose. This gives him wings, but the terraformars only fly into the air and attack him. He kills many creatures, but he starts cuffing out blood as the mutation is too much for his body. The two are eventually overtaken by exhaustion and their injuries. Desperate, Jin injects three more doses into himself, making the transformation permanent. This allows him to attack one of the evolved terraformars. His leg gets crushed in the process, but he successfully chops the creature's head off. After this, Jin collapses, ready to accept his death. He then tells Shokichi that his life had no purpose, but he found the will to survive because of the crew. Suddenly, the remaining evolved terraformar runs to attack them. Shokichi fights back, only to have his insect horn snapped in half. This doesn't stop Shokichi from fighting, so he punches the creature, though this barely has any effect. Just as Shokichi is about to meet his end, the terraformar withdraws its attack when it notices something in the distance. A silk moth appears sprinkling dust all over the creatures. Shokichi realizes that it's Nanao, whose corpse evolved to aid the crew. Jin realizes that the dust is explosive once it's in contact with fire, so he yells at Shokichi to save himself. The man, however, refuses to leave without Nanao, so he leaps up to grab her. At the same time, the evolved terraformar shoots Nanao, which triggers the explosion that exterminates the creatures as well as Nanao. Fortunately, Jin uses the last of his strength to fly and rescue Shokichi. The explosion causes Bugs 2 to shake, toppling a glass of water that splashes on Ichiro's face. Meanwhile, Jin loses strength, causing both him and Shokichi to fall to the ground. When Shokichi wakes up, he sees Jin in his final insect form. With his dying words, he tells Shokichi to live and return to Earth as this is Nanao's will. Ichiro finally wakes up inside Bugs 2, but a terraformar is there. The man refuses to die this way, knowing that his family is still suffering on Earth. Driven by this, he kills the terraformar with his bare hands. Just as Shokichi is about to enter Bugs 2, he finds that the evolved terraformar is still alive. He quickly beats it up but ends up sparing it. He then enters the ship, where he finds Ichiro. Shokichi is still enraged by his betrayal, but before he can charge at him, he gets greeted with a gun. Ichiro fires the weapon but aims for the terraformar behind Shokichi, thus saving his life. The two then head back to Earth on an escape pod. As the pod launches, the remaining terraformars open their wings to attack, but the evolved one signals them to stay put. On Earth, Honda discovers that Ichiro posted the data of their secret mission on Mars. Now the world knows what they've done, and at this rate, the country's research would be all for nothing. Desperate, Honda plots to hide and sell the research to other countries. He defends that their government will place the blame on him anyway, so he might as well escape. Hearing this, Sakakibara points a gun at the professor, revealing that she has been sent by the government as a spy to watch over him. As she pulls the trigger, Honda deflects the bullet with a protective barrier then tosses a mechanical spider at the woman, which releases a toxic gas that kills her. After this, Honda makes his escape. Aboard the escape pod, Ichiro shares that once they return to Earth, he'll climb his way to the top and battle the big shots and airheads that sent them to their
their misery. When he asks Shokichi about his plans, he replies that he'll build a tomb for Nanao and the others. After that, he'll return to Mars to finish the original mission. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.